Hi, Shedders. Okay, I have been thinking about the scale and the number on the scale as an indicator of success because that's what we have been taught in weight loss is the scale is <clears throat> what we should be chasing. The number on the scale tells us if we're good or bad, are we doing right things or wrong things. The number on the scale can determine, <clears throat> excuse me, our perception of ourselves for that day. The number on the scale can determine how much we eat, how much we exercise. I think we've been taught as a society that the number on the scale is is the, like the leader is the is the be all the end all is like there's a word for it I'm not finding but it it's like that number tells us what to do and how to behave and how to think and feel for the rest of the day the week the month the year and that is what we should be listening to. And I'm going to say that the number on the scale is, it's one indicator and it is a tool. And I, and you know that I talk about this, right? We use the number on the scale to identify foods that are creating inflammation in our body. So for example, um, I was talking to a shutter yesterday on our, our group coaching call and she said, you know, I wanted, I wanted to test chicken because I ate chicken and then like her face was puffy the next day. And so, you know, we talked about that and where the chicken came from and if it was cross contaminated and all the things, but she's going to test just chicken again. And the way you use the scale, okay. You're going to use the number on the scale to test foods to determine if they are creating inflammation in your body with or without the dietary antigen test that you've all done. So you're going to weigh yourself in the morning for no other reason to get the data, not to determine how much you eat, not to determine how much um, exercise you do, not to determine if you're um, succeeding or failing, okay? only to grab a data point. Then you consume the food during that day. The next morning you get back on the scale, you grab the number as a data point. If the number has gone up and all things otherwise are equal, then that food probably is causing inflammation in your body, okay? That is what you're gonna use the scale for. The everything else is an indicator of success. I'm gonna tell you shift your perspective. So if you're looking here, as that's the indicator of success, I literally want you to turn your head and look at a whole different set of markers, okay? And some of them that I have identified for you are right here. So this right here, if you're doing these things, then you, you will create optimal health. Your body will convert back to its natural body size. And when it does that, then it will go to its natural body weight. Okay? Your body is an entire ecosystem and it's the way we have evolved has been millions of years. And it knows what to do if we do the things to allow it to heal and go back to homeostasis. Balancing your hormones, reducing your stress. By the way, ladies, reducing your stress, number, I mean, I really think it's one of the, the most important things we can do. Easier said than done, but there's tools to do it. Quality sleep, movement, exercise, right? Getting muscle mass, water, clean food, elimination through sweating, breathing, bowel movements, detoxification, which you're all doing in the shed anyway. Increasing your nutrient status with quality food, supplementation, having lots of love in your life, having purpose in your life, having a growth mindset, set, having spirituality if you choose. These are just a few of the things that when you're doing the shed and when you're making a life change and you're focusing on that number, you, you're gonna forget about these because your energy and your focus is on a number versus the things that get you that number. The things that get you the natural body size, the things that get you optimal health. 
Because listen, if you're not up leveled ecosystem, organ system, and you have health, your body sure as shit is not going to start losing weight. It's got other things to do to keep you alive. Does that make sense? It's not, it doesn't care that you want the number to be different on the scale. It says, oh my God, your thyroid's not working. We need to put our energy there. That, your body is so brilliant that it doesn't care about the number on the scale, but we've been taught that that's the indicator of importance, okay? So here, let me give you an example. And listen, I'm coming off strong because I'm very passionate about this, but you can, if you want to use the numbers on the scale as an indicator, go for it. Totally go for it, right? I'm just saying, you might have a better experience and you might have so many other outcomes in addition to your body size and your weight if we do it this way, okay? So the number on the scale is a very minute indicator of success because you can look like this, and weigh 200 pounds, and you can look like this, cut and chiseled, and weigh 200 pounds. Does it make sense? We've seen that. We've all seen the pictures, the side-by-sides of the woman who is totally jacked, and she's at 150 pounds, and she's like totally like what we see normally walking down the street, and she's at 150 pounds. What I think you're trying to do, right, is I think women are actually trying to shrink their overall body size. They want to be smaller. You want to wear smaller clothes. You want to be strong. You want to be lean. You want less tissue. You can have that, yet have lose very little weight. Does that make sense? You can... You're trying to be here, yet you're focused on a number. I want you to focus on your size and the things that get you your size, and the number will follow. Here is an example, okay? So last month shed, this is just two examples. It's like over and over again. And this is in 30 days, by the way, okay? So last month, we had a shedder. She lost two pounds in 30 days. Her mindset, of course, was like, what the F is happening? But she lost 25 inches. Okay, I'm going to show you what that looks like. This is 25 inches. That's, that's what she lost. Her body is this much smaller. And it equated to two pounds. Another woman lost five and a half pounds in 32 inches. Where is that? This, <laughs> I can't even fit it in the screen. This is how much she lost from her body. Like, do you see that? That's half of my body's size. This is what you're going for. This is why you're doing the work is because you want your body to be smaller. I... I don't know anybody that looks at, at a woman walking down the street and is like, damn, she weighs 140 pounds. Nobody cares. Right? They look at her and they're like, damn, she looks amazing. She's lean. She's strong. She's glowing. She's confident. She exudes health. That's what we're going for. Yet, we've been taught the number on the scale is the indicator of that. Okay, so Stalia nailed it. If you're watching the posts in the group, Stalia nailed it. And she said, I'm just looking at this as a lifestyle. Okay, so we're two, th two and a half weeks in. I really haven't lost a ton of weight, but that's okay because I'm focusing on what I need to do to make this a lifestyle because diets equal temporary weight loss. Diets focus on the number on the scale. Lifestyles, they focus on the things that will help your body create natural weight, natural size, and then maintain it because 
everything is up leveled everything is flowing everything is supported and it gets you there and here's the crazy thing when you get there the number is going to be what the number is going to be when your body when you make this a lifestyle and your body heals and yes it needs to heal because we've we've kind of treated it like crap it will find its natural shape it will find its natural size and then the number on the scale will be what it is and it won't even matter to you anymore it just doesn't matter like my number on my scale it took me years to get here but the number on the scale I got I don't care if it's 150 if it's 135 well if it's 150 then I know I'm you know right I'm not treating my body I'm not living as a lifestyle I'm polluting my body but I look at it and I'm just like okay like I'm not gonna panic I'm not gonna freak out go back to what I know heals the body go back to what I know helps it get its own shape through health because here's the thing You've all been kind of abusing your body for a while. Like, we can just be honest here, right? Whether that was through college or I, whatever. We've, we've treated our bodies like shit on more than one occasion, and probably for years on end. And now we're all like, okay, hurry up. Let's go. Let's lose the weight. Let's get healthy. Let's make this work. But you got to earn it. Just because you want it up here, your body... Maybe like, I don't trust you. You got to prove to me that this, we're going to keep this and we're going to sustain this. I'm not going to shift just because you decide today that no, I want to lose some weight. It's going to shift when it has consistently been nurtured the way that it needs to, to heal and to trust you and to believe that you're going to do what you say you're going to do beyond three weeks four weeks beyond 90 days in the shed it needs it needs years now the shed if this is your first round this is like your freshman year of college you're on your track to a PhD right and shed your 1.0 is your is your freshman year then you're gonna have to go to your sophomore year then your junior year then your senior year then go get your master's and get your PhD you might have to do this over and over and over and over and over again most likely you will until you have earned it until you have done this and made the lifestyle then and only that I'm telling you then your body's gonna shift and then it's not gonna be so much work and then it's not gonna be so much mind drama and you won't even look at the scale and determine is that success or not you'll look at it as is that health or not did I eat something that's not supporting my body you all know it anyway so all of you who are using that as your indicator of success I'm offering you to play with this instead only weigh yourself on occasion or if you're gonna test certain foods and truly I don't know just like even take the scale and just put it over here and go back okay if I really want to know what success is take yourself through the list take yourself through this <clears throat> are you balancing your hormones if you're following the shed then the answer is yes are you reducing your stress you have to answer that one are you getting quality sleep I sure hope so right do everything in your power are you moving are you doing the workouts and the shit go back to here and if you can check the box here that you're consistently doing it then then yeah you're successful shift your perspective to here versus the number on the scale okay let's coach about this in the next session let's let's start a conversation about this because I know how much of a mindfuck this can be the scale it's like Becky brain times a million okay and it's embedded in us it's ingrained in us it is used with doctors it's used as indicators of health and I'm just showing you that there's so much more that you can use as indicators of health and then your body will respond and it will reward you after you have earned it so let's start the dialogue thank you for listening I hope this was helpful give it a shot see what happens see what happens when you shift your perspective 
shift your actions, see if this starts to occur. I know it will, because this is what I do. This is what I've been working with you all for 11 years. Okay, everyone, have a great day. Take care.